How can we put the mind in the chanting without distraction? That's a gradual process. What this chanting does, why we sing and dance, why we use the music, is because it helps to bring the mind in the focus, right? As we chant Hare Krishna, with the kartals, with the madrangas, clapping our hands, dancing, it's easier to fix the consciousness. That's why the chanting with many devotees in a big kirtan is considered to be the most effective way, even a hundred times more effective than mental chanting. But since we're not always able to chant in a big group of people, we also need to chant on our feet. The beads use the sense of touch by feeling the beads and counting. So that also helps us to concentrate. We look at a picture of Krishna, look at uh, the deities of Krishna and we can chant. If the mind goes back away from the chanting, we bring it back. We chant Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Adaita Gadadhara Siva Sadhika Urvakta Vrinda. And then again fix the mind. If you're in a chanting with the devotees, if you're chanting in the temple, you're chanting in some peaceful place, obviously it will be easier to chant without distraction. If you're chanting in the middle of a very disturbed environment, it may be difficult to concentrate, but still we have to do it in all kinds of circumstances. Because even at the time of death, we cannot be guaranteed that we're going to be able to die in a very peaceful situation. We don't know what's going to happen at that moment. So we need to practice chanting Hare Krishna under all circumstances. Good circumstances, bad circumstances. Lord Chaitanya advised Kirtaniya Sadahari. We should chant Hare Krishna all of the time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare.